Now we begin the 7 o'clock hour on this Wednesday morning with some breaking news we've been following all morning. The FAA has now lifted a nationwide ground stop after a computer outage earlier this morning. So we're expected to resume normal operations, but of course uh, damage has already been done this morning for travelers waiting on flights. Team coverage continuing for you this morning. Test standing by with more of the specifics on the outage. But first, let's get to Gibby, who is live at Sky Harbor Airport. Gibby. Yeah, a lot of happy people out here, but as you mentioned, Olivia, the damage is done. They, uh, you know, they have resumed operations here at Sky Harbor as they're gradually going to do across the country. But here's what people are going to see when they get here to the airport. Uh, I could tell you out of that, both those boards, nine of them are on time, which tells you that 80% of them are delayed. And I mentioned earlier the delays are anywhere from about 15 minutes to about three hours as we're paying attention here at Sky Harbor. Many people walking in, even knowing as they're checking their bags, figuring out that they have some time to kill before operations going. We caught up with one gentleman who said that his best bet is to stay close to his plane, hoping he'll get to leave sooner rather than later. Yeah, so we're uh, scheduled on a, a southwest flight uh, that was supposed to leave about 8.15. Right now we're scheduled to head out around 10 o'clock. Um, so that's the current status. I don't know if we'll actually end up leaving at that time, hopefully. But until further notice, we're at the airport. We want to be close to our plane so that when things get moving again, we can quickly get on our plane and get going. And that seems to be the idea with everyone here coming to the airport. They're hoping, hey, we're just going to stand by. Uh, we just saw GCU dance team who walked in. Uh, they were excited that even though they were delayed here, their flight in Dallas was also delayed. So they're hoping that they're not going to miss their connection to Florida where they have a national competition coming up this week. So uh, a lot of folks out here, they didn't seem to be too concerned only to hear that most airports, if not all, were delayed the same way Sky Harbor was. Well, if the dance team is there, maybe there could be some entertainment during yeah, these delays, exactly. right? Exactly. Thanks, Kim. All right, so what is this problem exactly? The FAA says it's been working to restore its notice to air mission systems, which is uh, NOTAMs is yes. what that is. So uh, Tess is standing by in the newsroom now with a bigger picture as to what is impacting these flights. Yeah, as Scott has just mentioned, we're talking about the FAA's notice to air mission system. Uh, what does it do? What exactly is it? So let's break this down for you. It's basically a safety alert system that gives pilots last minute updates about where they're going, the situation between the airport they're leaving and the destination they're trying to get to. Also, any developing moments leading up to the flight. So we know planes that were already in the air were able to continue operating operating as is and if someone was on an overnight flight or maybe an early morning flight it was able to take off before everything was grounded well those continue a schedule and the FAA says those planes will be able to land now the FAA sent out a tweet saying they hope to get things up and running by now 7 a.m. and as we did check they said that the ground stop has been lifted but again as we reiterate the morning flights really set the tone for the rest of the day so when you delay the first batches of flights in this morning. We know at 1.1200 flights delayed. Other flights will feel the impact. So if you are going to airport, the best thing to do is expect delays. Take a look at your possibly new time. Um, I did just check Sky Harbor's website as well, and there were at least 38 cancellations, and we were talking more than 200 delays. So be prepared. Um, as someone who just traveled last week and got a flight canceled several hours before, it can be a mess, especially when you deal with those connecting flights if you have one of those guys. All right, Tess, so what does this mean for flights all morning long and how important is this NOTAM thing? We're going to, we've got on the phone a friend of mine. He is a former airline pilot for many, many years. He flies helicopters and airplanes. Pilot Jeff Sr. joins us on the phone. Jeff, good morning. We appreciate you calling in. Hi, Scott. Thank you for having me. So there's a bunch of different kinds of NOTAMs, departure, arrival, en route. It's very important to pilots, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's actually, it's actually a requirement for flight before we go flying because uh, it, it just kind of informs us of, of closed runways or taxiways or just uh, lighting that's out or in off or anything like that. So it is very important. So if... Um something like this happens. I don't know if you've seen this in your flight career. 
Uh, I would imagine that flights are going to be disturbed all morning long, delayed because of something like this if, when a ground stoppage happens, right? Absolutely. And I, I hope they, they fix it quickly because <laughs> it could cause a lot of problems. I, mean, I don't know if it's nationwide or not, but uh, or just locally. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a, an issue they need to hopefully fix soon. Yeah, and even if that stoppage is lifted, and they said uh, about five minutes ago that things would be starting to move, um, we know when, when there are delays, there's a trickle down throughout the day in commercial airlines, right? Absolutely. They, uh, a lot of people don't understand at times that when there's a, uh, a delay here, maybe in Phoenix, and they go, well, the, and you go, well, it's due to weather on the East Coast, they go, well, what does that have to do with Phoenix? <laughs> But they don't understand it's a it's a chain reaction down the road that, that the system's pretty pretty uh, locked in together you know all across the nation. All right, well, Jeff, we uh, we've been taking a look at different airports as we've been talking to you. <laughs> that airport right there is basically <laughs> empty town. right now. It is a ghost town. So, Jeff, appreciate the info and uh, be safe up there.